And I, uh, there's something knocking on the door here. Looks like a, a big swath of rain. Actually, can we just cover it up? I'd prefer if we didn't have to see that. Just kind of push it away. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice if you had that power? Get out. Oh, uh, it would be nice. Uh, yeah, this is uh, storm number one. We've got two more after this one. This one's kind of the wimpier of the three, believe <laughs> okay. it or not. Uh, yeah, we are looking at some rain showers uh, kind of off and on for the next week or so. Hey, I want to say a quick hello to the third graders at uh, the Waddington School in Riverside. I visited with them yesterday as part of their reading week festivities. I visited Mrs. DaCosta's and Mrs. Hurd's third grade class, and I read Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Great time there at Waddington School. No meatballs falling from the sky today, although that might be a little nice, better than the rain that we're getting. Here's storm number one impacting us today. Number two is down there in the Gulf of Mexico. Number three is out in the Pacific Northwest. That's the one that arrives over the weekend. You can see this parade of storms working its way across the country right into the weekend. Then we might get a little bit of a break for a while next week. As far as the amount of rain, Wet storm number one today, quarter inch to a half an inch of rain expected. Tomorrow night and into Thursday, that's the one that could cause some river flooding. One to three inches of rain expected Wednesday night and into Thursday, the one over the weekend. At the moment, it looks like a half inch to an inch and a half of rain, and that could certainly cause some additional river flooding. Right now, we've got some drizzle and fog. And